Hi everybody, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench, and I have a little review for you today. Um, a package has arrived in the post this morning from Russia, um, and this is the Quinta Studio, I'm not sure if it's Quinta or Quinta, um, interior 3D decals for the 135th scale KA29 Kamaz um, helicopter from Trumpeter. I'll put a picture up of the kit now. Um, I recently bought this kit, and if you want to see a review of it, put a comment down below. Um, but I realise things are a little sensitive at the moment. So, but basically I got the kit and then saw that Quinter Studio do this interior set. So I approached them and they said they would be happy to supply one for review, which they have done. It took an age to get here. Uh, no, no, no surprise there. But uh, there we are. This is the, the set and it is QD35077. This is the full interior 3D decal set. Uh, they're called decals, they're not really decals. Um, but this is the full interior set. They also do one called QDS35077, which is a smaller set, which is just the instrument panel. So what we're getting here, it's a tiny little package. You can see it's about it's about eight centimeters by six centimeters. So it's, it's tiny. It came in a little envelope and uh, all beautifully wrapped up in paper. Got here in perfect condition. So we have in here, we have instructions and all sorts in this little bag which doesn't want to let me have them out. Oh, come on. Right. And I will say, if you want to see the instructions, I'm going to put a picture up. In fact, I'll put a picture up now of the instructions, which I downloaded from Scalemates. So if you want to see the, the, um, the instructions and download them, you can get them from Scalemates. So what we've got here, we've got a set of pictorial instructions. There's also some worded instructions here which are I've, I've had a look um, and it basically tells you how to use them what glues to use and you know use PVAs or you can use Tamiya X22 you actually do soak them in water just like dec uh, decals so they're not like the red fox um, which the, they just sort of pop off the paper but these actually have to be soaked in water but they do warn you do not use uh, micro set and sole because it will attack the uh, surface um, so yeah, and they've got lots of tips and thank you for buying it and everything. I don't know if you can actually focus in on it and see it, but I can hold that up there. And then you can kind of freeze frame and read it off if you want to. Pause, whatever. Whatever your choice may be. So you can read all that there. And there you go. So uh, that's that on the back. It's all in Russian. So uh, that's your general instructions, but these are the instructions particular to this. And as you can see, we've got, um, let me get the light on. As you can see here, we've got green stars where it's telling you to scratch build. So there we've got to build a, a little box. There we're going to have to build a um, collective. And then we've got remove relief with the red star. So basically the same as you would with any photo etch set. And, uh, and there you go. And then we've got the... Um, the bulkhead there going after the cockpit so you've got some nice detail going on there glazing on this kit is quite big it's quite a, a big old window so you're going to see a lot of this uh, and then you've got the overhead panel here my only concern is uh, in fact i'll talk about that in a minute uh, but it's, it's, it's not a big thing it's easily achieve, um, get aroundable um, so here you can see again they've got the red star for uh, remove kit detail and the green star for scratch building so you've got to actually make a little plate to put that on. Uh, and then over here, we've got the inside of the windscreen, which is really nice. So we've got all these, um, I'll have to look at some reference material to see what these things actually are. But we've got these bits and pieces here on the window frames. And again, I just want to cover something. Uh, we've got a joystick there or a control column. And there's another control column there. And then here we've got the seats, different various seats with the different padding and the different belts for the different seats. They don't actually tell you which is which, but I should imagine it's going to be, um, there's probably, you know, these are going to be the two of these for the in the front and then the others are going to be the other ones. So um, there we go. So all very nice indeed. As I say, you've seen them up on the screen. So there we go. So let's have a look at the actual set themselves. Now this is the, this is QDS35077, the small one. So if you just want to get that one, this is what you get. It's just this instrument panel 
stuff here but it is absolutely gorgeous uh, you know that I've done a lot of Red Fox stuff in the past um, and this is it's the same and you can see there if I hold it up to the light in fact what I'm gonna have to do why won't the camera focus there we go hang on a second okay so it's because we're zoomed in that's why I'm struggling with the focus but you can see on here we have this beautiful panel and you can see that's reflecting in the light. It's got all the um, the 3D detail. It's all. It's not just like a photo etch panel, and um, that's something that I don't like with photo etches. We just get that flat 2D effect, but this is actually 3D. It's got raised detail. I'll put some photographs in so you can see it. But uh, very very nicely done indeed. So that's your main instrument panel, and then there's some other relative panels, and it's all in that correct Russian sort of turquoisey green colour. Which is lovely um, and you've got bits and pieces there for the for the whole of the cockpit not just the instrument panel and then here we've got the the next one which is now this becomes part of the the set 35077 so if you just go for the cheaper one you don't get this but this is going to be our overhead panel so you can see there let's get it right way up. you can see there we have majorly nice detail there for the overhead panel we've got some bits and pieces down here for the windscreen these are going to go down the sides of the windscreen now this is my only concern these parts here you actually put them on and i believe these are done in halves but like with these fat i think these are fans up here those those two parts 34 if you put them hanging off the roof surely the back of them are just going to be white and just plain flat backing so i don't know how they're going to look You've got these, uh, I don't know if they're grab handles or what, or if they're just sort of coiled cables. These hang down off the cockpit roof. I'll show you what they are here. You can see here, this is, the, this is the roof panel here. And you can see those two parts, 34, that I talked about. They look like fans and they're just sort of hanging down. So I'm wondering if on the back of them you're just going to see the, um, just a flat panel. So it might be worth checking that out, maybe fitting the wrong way around, painting the back black, whatever. Um, and you can see these parts here, 36, hanging down the sides. Um, they look like sort of grab handles or cables or something. So uh, again, make sure that we can't see those through the glazing because they're going to look funny. The parts here that go on the windows, uh, we'll have to do some reference checking, but it does look like, looking at this again now, it looks like what they've done is moulded these in halves. So these are like two halves that go together. So you'll take one of those, turn it over and then glue that on the front. But again, you've got all these lovely panels and it's all, all the switches are there and everything. As I say, I'll put some photos up. But it really is a thing of beauty. Very, very nice indeed. And it will really make the kit's cockpit pop. And as I say, being a helicopter, it's got a lot of glazing. But you can see from the picture there, you've got a lot of glazing, big windows. It's all going to really show up. So here we've got the, because this is the full interior detail set, as I say, we've got seats and seat belts, which is really nice. Now, looking at the instructions, it looks as though the seat belts will all bend and everything. We'll have to check. Maybe put them in some warm water first just to check they won't break. But um, we shall see. Uh, but you can see there you've got two sets, identical sets. And you've got the seat squabs and you've got the, uh, the, 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 the backs there, you've got the bases there. Various bits and pieces, padding on the harnesses, and then the harnesses for the other seats. So, um, not sure how these are going to work. We'll, we'll know when we build it, but um, <clears throat> be interesting to see if these can actually be rolled about and folded about a bit, so they're not just straight. It certainly looks like they can be because they are on there. So um, we shall see. But uh, yeah, all in all, very very nice indeed. It's not. Um, the cheapest way of going about doing your cockpit for sure but I think it's much preferable to having uh, you know having resin that you've got to paint or having um, photo etch that is just very two-dimensional uh, I think this is well well worth having and when you think you're getting everything in one set you know it's uh, it's because it, if you got this from Edward you would probably get this would be the cockpit set and then here you'd get the seats and then you'd get the seat belts. So you probably have to buy three sets and then you'd have steel photo etch belts. And this is probably much nicer. 
So anyway, um, there we go. So thank you for watching. As I say, you've seen the instructions close up. If you want to see more, get over to um, Scale Mates where you can put in 135th commas or whatever and it will come up with this and you can uh, download the instructions from there. So thank you for watching. Enjoy the photographs. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.